Hi yeah, so today I'm going to show you how to make a ring out of pop tabs, just one like this. Just a nice little flower ring. And yeah, so let's get on with it. Okay, so you need a crochet hook and you need some yarn, the kind you'd use for cross stitch or um, like friendship bracelets. Then you also need some pop tabs, six for each ring. And you also need some blank uh, rings to obviously attach them to. You also need scissors and a needle. Okay, so first of all, take your string or your yarn. Uh, you just want to make a little slip knot, so you just make a loop and then you get the end part, pull it through the loop, and then you pull it tight. Yeah, you want it quite a bit on the end of the tail because you need it to sew onto the ring later on. Okay, so you grab two pop tabs, one on top of the other, and you just put the crochet hook through the hole, grab the yarn and pull it up to the top of the pop tabs, or to the side of the pop tabs, and you grab the yarn again and pull it through the hoop. You do this again, underneath, make sure you don't get the end bit like I just done, <laughs> can be a bit fiddly if you're not used to it. Okay, so you just do this twice for the first one, but from here on you have to do it three times in each of the holes. Okay, so you grab your third pop tab, place it behind the second one, and you do exactly the same as you just done. You go through, pull, for, pull the yarn through, and then grab the yarn on the outside and put it through both hoops. Like I say, you have to do it three times now, and the next one, and the next one. You have to do that until you've got six pop tabs in a line. Okay, so just carry on. This can be a bit fiddly if you're not used to it, but practice makes perfect. Okay, so this is what it looks like once you've got six, and then you just pull the first one up to the last one that you've done. You want your crochet hook in front of the flower and the yarn behind the flower. Okay, so you want that those two holes lining up. And then you just do exactly the same, put the crochet hook through the holes. And then you grab the yarn from behind. Pull it through. And you obviously now have to go through the middle middle to hook the yarn again. Okay. I hope this is coming up clear enough. I know it keeps going blurry. Okay, so you just do that three times. Did I just say that? No. Oh, I'm forgetting. <laughs> and then you're nearly done for, this, for the um, making of the actual flower. Or star. When you use the more square one, they kind of look more like a star than a flower. Okay, and then because the first one you've done, you only done two, you'd have to go back and do an extra one in that one as well. The reason why I only do two in the first one is so I can go back and do an extra one here, so the ends are properly um, crocheted together and it's not too wobbly at one joint. Okay, so once you've done that last one, you want to take your crochet hook, put it back through the middle, you want to grab the yarn again, and you just pull it through that one single hoop that you've got, pull it tight, and then pull the yarn out a bit. And then you want to cut the yarn from the back. Again, you want like a couple of inches like left over, a few inches. Pull it tight, and then you have to get both ends like for it at the back, so the bit that you started with and the bit that you finished with, and just do a double knot in the back there. Okay, and then you just have to add it to the ring now. Okay, so there's your little flower. Okay, so you need to like grab your ring and basically put the needle on the end of one end of the yarn and you just um, 
basically go in and out of the middle of the flower and um, oh sorry I really don't know how to explain this <laughs> you just have to make sure you go when you come through one end you kind of loop the yarn over one side of the ring so it's basically holding it down yeah I'm really sorry I can't explain that very well at all <laughs> Okay, so you come through, and then obviously you go over where the ring is, and then go back down the other side of the ring. Like I say, so it's holding it down, and you have to do that both sides. Oh, went blurry there. <laughs> Just do that both sides, and then finish it up with a normal knot, and that's it. You're done. So you want to just go in and out a couple of times and this is what it will look like when you're finished so you can see that there's a you end up with a little knot and um it's right there and if you if you want you can obviously stick a tiny little bit of glue on there to stop it from undoing but yeah that's basically it sorry it went a little bit blurry there but I don't know what's wrong with my camera at the moment okay so you can also make other things using a similar technique um, what you can also do is like make earrings. All you have to do that is do the flowers the exact same way, except if you add a jump ring to one of the pop tabs and then obviously put the hook on. And a necklace is exactly the same thing, just add the jump ring and add a chain or a necklace to it and you're done. Okay, thank you, bye!